okay so uh this this is me again um ldo daily ops and this is my thoughts and opinions on the new 2020 mid-engine c8 corvette okay uh this is my my these are actually my thoughts and my opinions and i just wanted to talk about it because uh well it's been uh long waited like many people has been uh have been sorry uh waiting for this car and there was a lot of uh a lot of hype around the around the launch of this car and now we know that we're gonna have two versions uh we're gonna have a coupe with a fig with a fixed roof and then we're gonna have kind of like a, i don't know if it's a convertible or if it's a targa I don't remember actually what they're calling it calling it like but anyway you can remove it's pretty much a targa so you can remove the roof but something really interesting is that you can store the roof of the car in the back compartment it's kind of like a trunk because remember uh corvettes are also about usability like they have to be practical not overall practical but practical for sports cars like if you compare a Corvette to with a Ferrari well then the Corvette it's gonna be way more practical um, they are sticking to that tradition of the golf uh, back that you, you can store the golf back in the trunk of the Corvette and the, the revealing was quite exciting I guess it was it was really cool it was really cool and i liked the the front of the car more than i thought i would like i had been seeing seeing some some pictures online you know some leak pictures and some renders of what the car is going to look like and i wasn't quite liking the car and i don't know if it's because a new design or if it is because I don't know someone at Chevrolet it's just I don't know and maybe this is just my opinion but I think someone at the at the at the uh, designing department of Chevrolet is just screwing every new car like it was with the Silverado it was with the Camaro and maybe now with the Corvette like the car it is better than uh, than I was expecting but it's, I don't think it's a beautiful car like my first reaction like was like oh my gosh it's beautiful but I'm looking to more pictures and it's not that beautiful especially from behind like the rear of a car I don't like in that that much I, I, I don't know it's just like sometimes you look at the car and it kind of looks like they took the c7 corvette and just they stretched that and made it like took the engine and put it on the back and that's what it kind of look kind of like it looks like sometimes when i look at the car i was watching i, I watched the whole presentation uh the whole revealing thing by Chevrolet and I like the front of the car better because I wasn't liking I wasn't I wasn't quite liking the renders so I like the front better than I thought I would which is a nice thing I guess but the rear the rear of the car I'm not liking that at all uh, the tail lights looks like uh, like they just took the Camaro uh, tail lights and shove it in there it's just kind of what it looks like to me at least and i don't know but the car i think it's too long which is uh well part of the reason uh, reason being or one of the reasons of that is because they basically put a uh trunk in the car like they say it's a mid-engine corvette the car's real mid-engine like 
the engine is on, on the middle of the car because what's on the back is the trunk. You have a, a front or a front trunk on the front, of course. Then in the middle you have the seats, but you also have the engine and then on the back, on the real back of the car, you have the trunk because you have two trunk compartments, one of the front of the car, one of the back which is pretty cool I guess, it's pretty usable as I said before this is something uh, very I would say traditional from Corvettes they they tend to be very uh, very very usable once again compared to other sports cars it's not like they're really usable because they're not <laughs> it's just sports cars so but it's quite cool quite cool that they did that although it's not very um, let's say beneficial to the design to the overall design of the car because sometimes I see the car in some of the shots and it's like man I can you know what I can make a pickup truck out of that car given how long it is and not only how long it is but it's just the overall shape it's like it feels nice to have a make a pickup uh, truck out of a car which is weird coming from a supercar you shouldn't be imagining that from a mid-engine sports car one thing uh, that I didn't like so I didn't like the design overall uh, I think the um, the rear wheel wheels are wider or at least the axle like they stick out more than the like the car the overall car gets uh, wider when you go as as you go through the back of the car it's like thinner or skinnier in the front and then it gets wider which mm, kind of like that type of design usually gives you a very sexy shape uh, car but in this car I don't know I don't think if that is working quite well I don't know the design is weird uh, somebody I think somebody have to be fired at the design department of Chevrolet I, I mean I just I just think so like it's, it's not ugly but it could have been better and when I say better I mean way better because honestly sometimes it just the car just feels like you took a C7 Corvette you stretched that car and put the engine on the back that's what it feels like sometimes when you look at it depending on the angle that you look at it and the lighting and all that you know but it's it's weird sometimes I'm not liking that Corvette that much like the first impression I was very surprised like, oh my god it was beautiful yeah I, I was very surprised that's quite normal for me especially but I don't know some some something something in that car is not some design wise at least it's not working quite well that being said though uh, they spoke a lot of things during the presentation and some things were like yeah the design and the heritage of the Corvette and the usability and the heritage once again and, and you know they just they have to talk a lot right but some things were really impressive and I have a, a one of the slides uh, contains one of the I think what they are I think sorry uh, what maybe are one of the most relevant specs of a car nothing too specific anyway but the price they didn't reveal the official price but they dropped they just dropped something huge even though they didn't reveal the official price they did say that the car will start 
add less than 60k which is amazing for any sports car given how the market is right now that's quite amazing it's quite amazing let me tell you less than 60k it could be 69 999 i don't know but 60k 60k it's gonna be a very competitive sport car sports car in terms of price at least they did say something else zero zero uh sorry zero to 60 miles per hour in less than three seconds which is not all that amazing given the performance of some cars uh nowadays but for less than 60k on a car that that's gonna be presumably usable to some extent that's quite awesome transmission dual clutch dct which stands for let me see if i remember dual something transaxle dual clutch transaxle of course clutch it's gonna be a dual clutch so it's gonna be faster than you doesn't matter how how much you like manuals uh, a dual clutch is gonna be just quicker so it's a dct it's dual clutch transaxle transmission it's gonna be eight speed yeah, cool could be 10 speed but eight speed it's gonna be the engine b8 lt2 6.2 liters something important here natural aspirated because they talked about the immediately immediately uh response of the natural aspirated uh engines which is yeah it's it's true they are just they just get power right away um so they talk about that the they're gonna present a c51 version of the core pack they're gonna present some normal ones and they also talk about some um some other things you know commodities amenities like the car interior interior wise it looks quite good which is something new for a corvette like they have been they have historically been cheap looking interior cars this one looks quite good some i like a lot and i don't know if many people is gonna like that it's gonna like this many people many so sorry um sorry uh probably many car enthusiasts are gonna like this is that the the car it's very um the interior it's very driver focused like it has some angles like it makes you feel like you are in a cabin or something like that which is quite cool i guess it's quite cool i think sorry i i think it's quite cool you know and to have that sort of like enclosed uh, feeling to the driver, it's quite amazing. Uh, they talked about some things like electronically wise uh, regarding the driving. You're gonna have some driving modes. You're gonna have one thing which is real cool by the way. Uh, as many supercars, you know, some, sometimes you're driving and you have to clear the bump speed. So, the car can lift itself two inches which is quite a lot but also it's gps connected so you can store that point where you where, where you have to lift the car and the car will remember like hey here you have to clear that that speed bump so i'm gonna lift myself quite cool i think and you also have some uh more comfortable access buttons for driving mode so you don't have to go through all the main through the whole menus which is quite convenient and yeah overall my think my think my thoughts sorry about the car design wise a mm, little bit disappointed i gotta admit i'm a little bit disappointed about the car about the design but the performance the price the maybe the presumable usability of a car 
I mean, like it's gonna be something maybe a little bit practical. I have to say that that impressed me a little bit. Like it's a good impression that I have of a car. So yeah, it's gonna be it. Uh, the whole new 2020 mid-engine C8 Corvette Stingray. Hope you like this video. Give it a like if you can. I'm gonna be uploading more content and more specific to the specs of a car, to the features. And maybe I'll talk a little bit more about the design, which I didn't like. Maybe, maybe I have to see some more pictures and videos and I will start to like, <clears throat> sorry, to like this car. Just maybe. But anyway, I'm gonna conclude the video. Hope you like it. Give it a like if you, if you can. If you liked it, tell me. If you didn't like it, tell me why, please. And as I said, well, I'm gonna be uploading more videos on the Corvette and then on some other cars like the Grand Rebel TRX that it's also coming and yeah, more videos overall. So stay tuned. Mm, yeah, and that's gonna be it. Bye.